In this video, we are going to look at how to perform a complete backup of your computer using the program DriveImage XML. To open DriveImage XML in Windows 7, click the Start button, hover the mouse over All Programs, click the Runtime Software folder, and then click DriveImage XML. If you're using Windows 8.1, go to the Metro screen and type DriveImage XML. Before you finish typing, the program should appear on the list below the search bar. Click Drive Image XML from the list of results. If the User Account Control window appears, click Yes to continue. The Welcome screen will now appear. One of the options that appear on the bottom left is Drive to Drive. That option allows you to copy the contents of a hard drive directly to another hard drive. To learn more, Watch the video Performing a Drive to Drive Copy with DriveImage XML. In this video, we will cover the backup option, which creates an image of your computer that can be restored later. To create a backup image, you will need an external hard drive that is at least as big as the hard drive in your computer, otherwise, there may not be enough space. While DVDs are an option, they only store a small amount of data compared to today's hard drives, so your best bet is to use an external hard drive. To begin, connect your external hard drive to your computer. Close any pop-up windows that may appear. In the bottom left, click Backup. Under Check one or more drives to backup, you should see both the source drive, usually labeled C, and the external hard drive, which in this example is labeled as the E drive. Click on the C drive, and then click Next. The Welcome to the Drive Backup Wizard window will appear. Click Next. The Backup window will now appear. The box next to Directory shows where the backup will be saved. To change this, click the Open Folder icon on the right. In the Browse for Folder window, find the external hard drive, select it, and then click OK. In this example, we will scroll down, click Computer, and then click One Touch 4. Click OK to continue. Next to Directory, the destination has been updated to the E drive. The Files area shows what will be imaged or backed up. In this example, it is the C drive, and the files will be given the name Drive underscore C. The Options area can be left as is. To learn more about the options, you can click Help on the menu bar, although it won't work right now because we are in the middle of setting up a backup. Click Next. If you have previously performed a backup, click OK to overwrite the existing files. The backup will now begin. The Progress window will show a progress bar at the bottom, along with time passed and time remaining. The process may take several hours depending on the size of the hard drive being backed up. Unfortunately, the backup isn't quite finished when the progress bar reaches 100%. At this point, you will see the message Dumping File Names to XML at the bottom of the list. This process may take an additional several minutes to complete. Once finished, a message should state Imaging C completed successfully, where C is the letter designation of the source drive. Click Finish to exit the backup window and close the Drive Image XML main window. In the video Creating a Runtime Live CD, we will discuss how to create a bootable CD that will allow you to restore the image you just created. In the video Restoring Your Computer with Drive Image XML, we will discuss how to restore your data once you've booted up your computer using the Runtime Live CD. In this video, we reviewed how to perform a complete backup of your computer using the program DriveImage XML. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.